In this first part of this uh, next section, what we're going to do is talk about adding video to your pages. Now, I, this is the crazy thing about video these days. If if you've ever added a video to a page in the past, I'm talking you know years ago, you probably tried to add like let's say an MOV file or a f maybe even Flash, kind of add like FLV or some kind of Flash video. Well, we got to be really careful about what we add these days as far as video is concerned. The reason why is because think of Apple devices. They don't support Flash. Uh, you got to think of all the different browsers we have available. We've got to be able to use different different ways to get things done. And one of the ways we do that is to use an HTML5 video tag. It's literally just the word video that shows up. Now, I'm going to show you a lot of different ways we can get uh, different types of video into a page without having to go crazy. One of the ways that uh, a lot of people use, and let me show you mine. I've got a channel up on YouTube. It's called Ask Brian Wood. And if you grab a video from YouTube, if it's your own, that's great. If it's someone else's, what you can do is you can actually come in and whoops, using using um, YouTube and some kind of social media service or service like this, like Vimeo as well, you can actually have them do all the heavy lifting, meaning you can share it and choose an embed code and embed using the code they give you. So if you were to go to YouTube and find the share code and then click on embed and copy that code, and you can even change the size of it and different things, you could paste that right into your web page code, and you've got yourself a video that's going to play. The cool thing is, that's, well, the great thing about YouTube and other, I guess you could say, uh, video sharing sites is that uh, they make it work in everything. So it's going to work in Adobe, uh, Apple devices. It's going to work on Android devices. It's going to work on Internet Explorer, on Windows, on Mac, etc. cetera. You're, you're having them do the heavy lifting, in other words. So if, if you're cool with that, I mean, and we can take YouTube video and we can, like, remove um, suggested videos. There's tons of stuff you could do to kind of remove most of the YouTube branding so that people can't tell. But it's almost par for the course these days. People will do this. So like I said, let me just show you here. I'm going to copy this embed code. Go to Dreamover. You don't, you don't have to do this. Um, I'm going to come right here, and where this image is, I'm going to just paste it. So it was right there. I'll just paste it right there. So you can see it put an iframe code. And then if I go take a look, you'll see there's the video itself. I can then either test it live by clicking live or go out to the browser and take a look at it. And there it is. So this is what I tend to do a fair amount with a bunch of my video content. Okay. Now let me undo all this so we can get it back where it was. There we go. All right. Now let me go back out to YouTube. So that's one one way or one possibility that you can use to get video out there. Have your own YouTube videos up there or your own Vimeo videos or wherever you put them. And then just get the code that they, they give you and paste it in your page. Now another way is to take your own video that you create and host it yourself. Meaning you put it in your folder for your site and you go and upload it when you go to FTP. That's definitely going to be a little trickier. Okay, what we're going to do, like I said, is we're going to use an, an HTML5 video tag. Uh, I think, okay, let me do this. I'm going to close this page real quick and open it back up because it's working to look a little hanky. There we go. All right, so in the week two folder, go ahead and open up the index page. You should see that we've got a big image out here. Why don't you go ahead and delete that big image right there, and you, you'll probably see that we've got a paragraph right there. Now we're going to insert an HTML5 video tag to insert video. And I'll talk all about video types, things like that. If you are in Dreamweaver CS6, if you look over here in Insert on the Common Panel, you're going to see HTML5 video. Now, if you guys are in CS5 and I believe CS5.5, you won't see this. Okay, that's why I supplied the code with you. But I will show you code for you. But I'll show you another way to do this. Okay. So for those of you in CS6, just follow me lead for one second. The rest of you just hang on one second. Come to the common panel or common tab on the insert panel. Insert your cursor over there and click HTML5 video. That's pretty much it. Now we got to add our videos and add some, some content to it. Okay. <laughs> Not too bad. If you are in Dreamweaver CS5 or Dreamweaver CS5.5 and you want to add video content like this, now let me show you what I mean by this type of content. I'm going to go look at split code view, and you're going to see exactly what it just inserted. This is a, an HTML5 tag called video. 
There's tons of attributes and things we can do with this. And when we stick that out there, when we insert it that way, it's not going to do anything. It's just going to stick the video tag out there. If you're an HTML, or sorry, Dreamweaver CS5 or CS5.5, here's what you can do. I'm not promising it's going to work because people have had issues with it, but it should. If you go under insert and take a look somewhere under there, you should see widget or insert widget. Click on widget. You should see a dialog box. Now, those of you in CS6 should not have to do this. Don't worry. Click on widget browser. And it's going to open up the widget browser. This is a separate application that's going to launch. And it's probably going to ask you to log in at some point using your free Adobe ID. And if you don't have one, you can create one real quick. Make sure that you're on Adobe Exchange if you click on that. And scroll down a little bit. And you'll see somewhere in here the HTML5 video player. This is how forever in a day we could get HTML5 into our page. They actually, Adobe actually... Uh, um, partnered up with Kaltura uh, to allow this to happen, which is kind of cool. Go ahead and click on that. And like I said, it's probably going to ask you to sign in. I already did this. This drives me nuts. I feel like I sign in like 30 times a day on different sites. Let's see if that, hopefully I didn't screw it up. <laughs> okay, after you sign in and take a look, you're going to say, okay, well, here's the widget. What you can do is you can take this and you can add it to your own. So, you're going to say add to your widgets. Now, mine says remove from my widgets, okay? And I'm actually going to do that. You're going to see right here, add to my widgets. Click on that. You're going to see a little license. Go ahead and accept it. It's going to say, oh, okay. What it did, what it pretty much just did is it just downloaded all the files. Click go to my widgets, and you should see it right there. Go ahead and click on it, and it'll open it up. Now, you can do some different things by clicking Configure down here and try and set up. And there's not a lot, you guys. You can tell it to loop, to autoplay, you know, that kind of thing. There are different themes you can pick, etc. cetera. Um, now, don't worry about the clips. They're not there. Uh, they actually moved them. And what you can do is you can either go to Code and grab the code that it has here and try and figure out where to put it. Or take a look here. I'm going to go ahead and refresh the live view. And it's not working. That's great. Um, I tell you what, I'm going to click on cancel. I'm not going to save the preset. Come back out here and you should be able to see that we've got a refresh and we've got a little drag and drop in Dreamweaver. Now, if you want to be brave, like I said, you can copy the code and you can download the widget files and try and put them in your thing, et cetera, et cetera. And you're going to have to do that, I believe, if you're in Dreamweaver CS5. But, oh, look up here. Yeah. Use the drag and drop button to drag and drop into a document in Dreamweaver CS5.5 and above. If you're in CS5, you're not going to be able to do that. You have to save the widget files. You guys, if you're in Dreamweaver CS5, just hold on tight for a second, okay? In those in Dreamweaver CS5.5, 5, 5 what you can do is you can take that little hand and drag and drop it onto your page, stick it in your div like that, and pretty much what it does is it inserts the same thing that we have there already that Dreamweaver CS6 user just added. It's close, okay? All right, now I'm going to undo that. Just so that, because I'm in CS6, I didn't need to do that for mine. If you are in Dreamweaver CS5, what I did was look at the path up here. In the Lessons Week 2 folder, there's a Support folder. I included this HTML5 video code.html. You can take this. This is all basically inserted. You can copy this and paste that into your HTML. Unfortunately, I hate to make you do that, but this is the nature of the beast. This stuff is so new, and it keeps you know improving and happening over time, and this is what we need to do. Now, it's already going to point to videos. You're going to have to change the source videos and things like that, but let's talk about that for a second. Let me get back over to the page. Go ahead and click on this if you're, if you're there, and you should be able to see in the property inspector, it's going to say video or something like that. Now, in the different versions, we're not going to see the same settings, but you should see something like source, poster, alt1, alt2, and maybe flash fall back down here. Now, here is the, here's the crux of it. Okay, when we go to insert this, because there are so many browsers, because there are so many di different devices, we have to include at least two different video file formats. Most people will do three, and some people will do four. Okay, I'd say minimum three. Now, what do I mean by minimum three video file formats? I mean that we have to have the source video file format is going to be an MP4 file, MPEG4 essentially. 
okay? We're gonna have two alternate video files. And if I take a look at this code, one called Agtheora and one called WebMHD or WebM. Now these play in different browsers like Chrome and Safari and that sort of thing. We're giving the browsers fallback. So in other words, we're saying, okay, MP4, this is typically like iPads and you know Apple stuff, okay? And then a browser's gonna look at that and say, well, I can't play that, so it's gonna try this. If it can't play that one, it's gonna try this one. Now, you're gonna see in this code here that we also have a paragraph tag, a P tag right here inside the video. This is actually a total fallback. This is like if nothing else, if everything else fails, you can either include a link, maybe stick it up on YouTube and include a link to the YouTube video channel, or you can actually have some people say you should have, the, have it be uh, downloadable. Make it so that the video files are downloadable. I don't know, it's your call. Back on the main page, what we're gonna do is I've already got the video files created. I'll show you how to create them, don't worry. Come down to source and click on the folder down here. And you should see that in the videos folder, we've got the three video files. I'll show you how I made them. Grab the MP4, we're gonna start with that one. That's the primary, and click open. And there we go, it's right there. Now let me show you how I made these. You can use, there's, there's 50,000 different ways to get this done. One of the ways that I do it is to use something called Miro Video Converter. You can pause the video and check that out. Just go search for it online. You can take uh, almost any file type, not all file types, but a lot of different file types and you can add them here. And once you add it here, you can choose, like let's say uh, Apple iPad, you can choose the AUG, the WebM from the format down here and let it convert it for you. So it's kind of a, it's a free tool. It's pretty cool. Um, you can also, in most cases, if you have Adobe Media Encoder, you can use that to convert video, which is pretty cool. Firefox also has a plugin to convert to different types. There's a lot of ways you can get this done. So once, the thing is we need to have these different file types, video file types. So back in Dreamweaver, we're going to have the two alternate sources. Click on the folder back here. And let's do the AUGV, which is the next one. And then the next alternate source two is going to be the WebM. So they're just different video file formats. It's pretty much what it is. Now we can add a poster if we want to. So go ahead and click on poster. And I think I, add, yeah, I do. We've got a video poster JPEG. This is just a screenshot of one of the videos playing basically that I took. Save it as JPEG or ping. Open it up. And we're gonna try and make it about the size of the video to be honest, okay? Just so it's not that huge. All right, there's the video right there. Now we're gonna take a look at this and see what we get. It's gonna to be too big, that's okay. Go ahead and preview it in one of your browsers, and you should be able to see it's it's kind of popping out. That's totally, don't worry about that, it's my fault. Go ahead and play it, and you should be able to see it play, okay? All right, now let me go back to Dreamweaver. You guys, that's pretty much it. We need to give it the, the actual video tag. We need to have the different uh, videos available, and you can see right here that it puts them all in there. You can set controls and different things. And by the way, in the actual um, video tag, we can add fallback as a paragraph if we want to. Um, you're gonna see that if you click on the video here, let me click on the video, you, we can actually have fallback text right there. So you can say, um, uh, see it on YouTube, something like that. And if you add the text there and hit return right there, let me go show you what it did in the code. You're gonna see it put this little P tag within the video tag. So that's the absolute back fallback, okay? You could go in here and select and add a link to the YouTube video if you want to, or even have the downloadable uh, video files if you wanna do it that way, okay? But that's what the video fallback is all about. You can also add a title. We do have the ability to add a flash fallback, which is taking it just that one step further, but you have gotta have the flash content to do that, and I don't. You can see we have in uh, Dreamer CS6, we have some other options we could set here that we would have set in the, um, uh, when we went out to insert the widget. So you can loop it, you can have it automatically play, we can mute it, we can do different things, have controls or not. Um, just different things we can do out here. So, like I said, my, the, the point is we've gotta have these different video file types, the, the WebM, the AUGV, and the MP4. Those are the three main file types we're gonna have. Now you guys in Dreamweaver CS5, if you're having a heck of a time doing this, and I get it, it was, it was kind of rough. Um, 
And like I said, using the widget, Dreamweaver CS 5.5, you can drag and drop, and then you can click on it and kind of add and edit the things we see here. If you guys are in Dreamweaver CS 5 and you're just finding that this is too much, here's what you can do. Go to this website. Hopefully it's still there. It's sandbox.thewikis.com. You can pause the video and look at this. VFE Generator. They, this, I don't know who did this. This is awesome, though. What, what they did was they give you alternate text here, or alternate code, and what you can do is you can insert your video file name here, and you're going to see there's the MP4 video, there's the OG video, and there's the WebM video. As long as you put the right link in here, like let's suppose that your video name is blah, it's just Big Buck Bunny MP4, type it in there, type in each one of the video file names right here, it'll automatically change it down here for you. You can add a poster image, make sure it links to the right place, maybe it goes into the you know images folder. Have a fallback title like, you know, my video, that kind of thing, and you'll see that all of this is going to change automatically as you edit it up here. Set some options, autoplay. You can go in and set width and height. If you don't want to have a flash fallback, you can set just HTML5, and you can see right here, it's pretty much what we have right now. Now, you are going to see that they offer a, an image tag in here inside that video file, which is another way to have a, a fallback, if you will. So that's a, a poster. That's a poster, essentially, okay, or one way to have a fallback. So you could do that. You could come down here and copy this to the clipboard, paste that into your HTML page, and you've got your videos. It's, like I said, it, it's kind of a pain. Um, Dreamverse CS6 has made it much easier, but... This is what we got to do to do video these days. It really is. Either offer up three different video file formats or go with a video sharing service and have them create the code for us. A couple different ways to get it done.